This video will show you how to commission and configure Schneider Electric Square D Wi-Fi wiring devices, including switches, dimmers, and receptacles. It assumes that you have already installed the devices covered in our installation video. To operate the switches and dimmers locally, press the top or bottom paddle. And to locally control a receptacle, press the on-off button. On all Square D Wi-Fi wiring devices, the LED indicator displays the device's status. When the LED is solid green, the device is on. In order to control your devices remotely and use the energy monitoring feature, we first need to add them on the network. This requires downloading the Wiser Home by Schneider Electric app for iOS or Android. Our devices are Wi-Fi Alliance certified to ensure that they are compatible with your wireless home network. It is important to note that your phone must be connected to the 2.4 GHz band of your network prior to setup. Whether you're commissioning a Square D Wi-Fi switch, dimmer, or receptacle, you'll begin by scanning the device's QR code included in the packaging. Get the location card that you place the QR code labels on in the installation video. Follow the prompts on the setup screens. The app will alert you when you've successfully commissioned the device. You'll see the many features of the app include remote on-off switching, dimming, scheduling, and energy monitoring. To integrate your devices with Google or Alexa voice assistants, you need to go into the appropriate app. For Google Home, go to Set Up a Device and select Works with Google. Then search for Wiser Home and select. For Alexa, go to Settings and then select Skills and Games and search the Wiser Home for North America skill and install. When connected, the device glows solid green. However, after commissioning a device, if one of the following scenarios should occur, simply follow these steps. If rapid flashes occur, the device is searching for a network. This could be due to a power failure and will usually self-correct within a few minutes. If you're using a dimmer, you may notice the tiny switch at the bottom. This is an air gap switch and is used to completely remove power from the load prior to changing a light bulb. If your dimmer is not working locally, make sure the switch is all the way to the right. Your dimmer may take a few minutes to reboot and join the network. When the LED stops flashing, you're reconnected. If you can't control your device remotely and you see a series of double blinks on the face of the device, it means it is offline and there could be a problem with the home's network router. Once the issues are corrected, the device will reconnect to the home network and the LED will be solid green. If not, press and hold paddles on a switch or dimmer together for 10 seconds until the device deletes the current network connection but retains all the other settings. You will need your QR code location card to reconnect the device to the network. If you want to reset the device to factory default, Simply press and hold both paddles at the same time on the switch or dimmer for 15 seconds. After resetting, you'll need to recommission the device. For the receptacles, you would press and hold the on-off button for 15 seconds. Your configuration is now complete. Visit the Schneider Electric Wiring Devices homepage to learn more. se.com slash us slash wiring devices.